like all the other hospitals in the New York area that are so close to the airports and everything else, we were very concerned after the episode in Dallas that we be prepared. Uh, we did all the preparations. We have a specialized care unit. We've done training of teams of voluntary staff to take care of an Ebola patient. But the one thing we've recognized more recently is that as Ebola fades away, we have to be concerned with the fact that there will be other infectious diseases which are out there in the world. And the preparation that we put for Ebola, we had a time to get ready. That may not be true the next time. And it may be illnesses that are much more contagious, have other problems. So we're starting to gear up and change our thought process to be more prepared for any major infection that comes down the pike. One of the things we've learned to do is to really have specialized teams. Uh, we cannot necessarily prepare every single hospital in our health system to have the resources to care for patients everywhere. So the concept is for diseases that do not have large numbers of patients but are very contagious, we've learned that we're better off having one or two specialized units and teams from all over that will come to those places to the patient to take care of uh, the, the patients in that case, rather than trying to spread it, because it's very difficult to maintain the training levels that you need over huge distances with large numbers of people. We think so far our costs have been between 12 and 15 million dollars. That includes all the training as well as building the unit that we did. Uh, the unit we built was two beds with a capacity to go up to three, and it was done in about 72 hours. Uh, they completely ripped out a whole section of an old ICU and rebuilt it completely over a weekend. Uh, was it worth it? Yes, it was worth it to do it because, number one, we needed to be prepared for our community. Uh, we did not want to have a patient come to our community and not have anybody having the resources to care for that patient. In addition, we needed to do it and it was worth it because it was a good training exercise, as I said before, to really re recognize that we need to think larger than just Ebola. We have to think about other infectious diseases as well. We have not used the unit yet, except for training. Uh, we train our staff in the actual unit. We use standardized patients who fake having Ebola and symptoms, and we present various scenarios so that that way the staff, completely clothed in their protective uh, equipment, personal protective equipment, can train there and see what to do. We've had a large number of patients who presented to the emergency rooms at our various hospitals where they were appropriately triaged and isolated. Then we worked with the Department of Health to see whether we needed to do anything. And in fact, in a couple of cases, uh, the patients have actually had to be transferred uh, to an Ebola center. Uh, in this case, one of the patients was in New York City, so it got transferred to Bellevue because the patient's family was in Bellevue. It was in the city.